around the chamber this afternoon, I'm probably the, the junior member. But I've heard today some of the most powerful, incisive speeches I've heard since I've been here in, in, in sort of over three years. And I think that shows the importance of uh, the decision to go to war with Iraq. I considered why I come to this house. And I thought the main reason was that I couldn't get 55,000 people in this chamber. So I come on their behalf to express their views and their concerns. And I understand fully that the Prime Minister cannot visit supermarkets or pop down the pub like some of us can to hear what's said on street corners and what's said by constituents. But I cannot accept the fact that policy of this government and this House is being made by people who are not elected to this House. For the government to come here and make a statement on the Iraq inquiry that said it would be in public, in private, and then for someone unelected to change the mind of the Prime Minister cannot be right. We've waited some six years for an inquiry. None of us in this House or outside have criticised the armed forces once war was declared, quite rightly so. We've supported the armed forces and we should continue to do so. But that inquiry has been on the statute for some considerable time. For the sake of a few more days, we must hold fire. We must allow this House to make the decision on composition, on remit, and on the powers of that inquiry. If we do not, the very legitimacy of that inquiry will be lost. That legitimacy is needed to put the minds at rest of the families of those who were killed and those who have been injured, and the people of Iraq, hundreds of thousands who died during that war. We must make sure that inquiry has the legitimacy of public debate. Within that public debate, we understand that there may be some things, and they should be the exception, that may have to be discussed and considered in private. But the vast majority of that debate must be held in public. The people of this country quite rightly so have expressed their anger and concern at the way the expenses issue has been blown up in terms of the press. But I would rather see the press have a field day with a public inquiry than make things up because it's held in private. We need to be open and transparent, and that must be done through this House. The issue of why we went to war is the primary reason for the inquiry. There is no doubt. We've heard that many times this afternoon. And that must be the main focus of the inquiry. But many of my constituents were concerned also about the strategy of war. The fact that when we went to Iraq, we had no exit strategy. We didn't really know how we would leave that country. And in fact, I still think there's a lot of answering to be done around that issue as well. But one of the major concerns brought to me on many occasions is the equipment that's been used in Iraq, or the lack of it. And that concern is something that is for today, is a concern not just in Iraq, but also as we are fighting a war in Afghanistan. That concern also must be addressed. The Hutton inquiry was held in public. It reported on a regular basis throughout the time that it was holding that inquiry. And I hope that that can be the case as and when we settle the terms of reference for the, the inquiry now. There must be regular reports. And certainly to wait 12 months for the first part of that inquiry is unacceptable. If the government cannot step back tonight and think again about how this inquiry will be set up, and especially the composition of the inquiry panel, then I would urge all honourable members to support the motion put forward by the official opposition. Thank you, Madam.